My name is Renee Runyon, and I am from Michigan. I teach at Spring Arbor University in the music department. I am a pianist, and I accompany uh, vocal groups as well as teach piano lessons. I also help plan worship at my local church, have been involved in that for uh, probably at least 15 years. And uh, this um, orality conference has opened up a new world for me. I have known about telling the story of Jesus through my grandmother's Cenafel business that she started back in the 1940s. And that has gone worldwide. And I even met somebody here at this conference who knows somebody who has taken those Cenafelds or something like them anyway, um, as evangelists all over the world, which just does my heart a lot of good. So I have that in my heritage, but as a musician, um, I'm looking at it as a different, at a different way. How can I use what I am hearing about and learning um, in this orality conference for uh, ministering to others in my neighborhood. I'm very involved in a mother's club at my church, uh, a group that I started uh, 30 years ago. And uh, so seeing how I can use this to minister to moms, using this to see how I can minister in my neighborhood. Um, today I got some great ideas um, about how perhaps I can use this in uh, music ministry as far as uh, finding different songs that have to do with honor and shame, guilt and innocence, fear and power. What do our songs, our hymnody, our worship songs have to say about this? And it's um, inspiring me to dig deeper into that and um, we'll see where the Lord leads with that, but it's, it's just very exciting. I'm Renee's husband, Dan Runyon, and I'm a professor of English and Communication at Spring Arbor University. A year ago, I was asked to go to Africa to teach um, world missions, and I just I was encouraged to use the Bible storying method, which it turns out I was very familiar with, but didn't realize it. If you look at the scale from one to six of a literate person, I'm off the chart with a six with a PhD, <laughs> and I read a lot all the time. But I also was introduced to orality at a very early age, and it was a very easy thing for me to embrace. I produced something called the Tribal Bible as a result of my month in Malawi last summer. And it turns out some of the things I'm learning about my project, I'm learning after the fact that it's really a topical story in the Bible. It, it picked, it's a, it could have been called um, Tribal Bible Great Commission because it selects the scriptures that collectively show you the origins of the Great Commission from the creation to Abraham all the way up through Revelation 22 when, when, the, when the Great Commission is fulfilled yeah. with the return of Christ. So how do you see what you you have interacted with here at this consultation? Yeah. What, what do you see the implications of that and the future implementation? Yeah, the result of having done that was what got me invited to this conference. Sure. And, and then I have been able to process that experience and think about what I would do in the future as a result of the things I have learned from the colleagues. I'm highly impressed by the people here, and I realize how naive I was in going into this um, from simply having sat down and read Q, Story Runner's website. I just read through the website, did what they told me to do, and it went pretty well. Um, but now I'm sitting among professionals. I'm sitting around a table discussing how to do this with people who are not only doing it, but training others to train others to do it. And um, just thrilled by what I'm seeing and intimidated by what I have to learn. But the idea that I have for myself for the future is that what I don't see happening here, and it might be because of my, I'm just not enough wide enough exposure, but I would like to see thematic um, Bible story sets. Um, we talk about Bible story sets that teach a particular thing, and it's kind of um, segmented. But what if you were to pick a biblical theme and take it from Genesis? I, that's what I did with the world mission, with the um, world missions concept of teaching missiology with the Bible stories from Genesis to Revelation. Yeah. I'd like to see us um, invent story sets that are, we keep hearing the term meta narrative here, which is the whole story from the creation to the recreation. I'd like to see thematic um, storying sets created 
that would would do that. That would and, be great. Yeah, and as a fiction writer, I intend to, I intend to do that as a writer myself, um, in the form of novels, which mm-hmm. is pretty Still complicated. Narrative. Yeah. Um, but it, and it's yeah. so that's that's what I'm getting from this. That's awesome. Okay, we're getting a line.